I'm here with Giuseppe Benanti. We've been tasting a range of his beautiful wines. He's been making wines in Sicily since 1991, but he's been making wines from Etna for at least how many years? Ten? Uh, okay, my family started here in, uh, in, in Sicily in 1734. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my great grandfather. He started to produce Etna wines here on the Volcano Slopes in Comune di Via Grande, very close, not far from Catania. And uh, in my opinion, the wine must be not business, but passion, culture, and lifestyle at the same time. You have to share your own experience with the people. You have to respect the, the terroir. And, but right now, Etna is, I mean, I think it's really coming into its own. Everyone's talking about it. But you've been making it for a lot longer than a lot of people. But, you know, we are very lucky because on the Etna, we can use our local grapes existing on the volcano slopes since century and century. You know, and the name is Nerello Mascalese or Nerello Cappuccio or uh, Carricante. You know? uh, if you talk about these, uh, these grapes, in the world, nobody knows these grapes, but we are very lucky because we, we can use these particular grapes and we can guarantee the expression of the terroir. And so the do you think that uh, Nerado Mascarello is, is, a, Mascalese. A, Mascalese is a better uh, communicator of the terroir of Absolutely, Etna? absolutely. Some people Ab do Cab and uh, Pinot no, Noir. And no, no, Cab and Pinot Noir. Uh, these, are, these are international grapes existing in the world, but we, nothing to compare to compare with uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or Pinot Noir from, of Etna is just, I, I call this wine curiosity wine. Yes, okay, just to, just to, you know, uh, to produce wine for a very small pleasure, you know. But if you want to produce a very, very good and very expressive wine, you have to use the local grapes existing here. And, uh, you know, we, we, we are very lucky because here in the Monte Serra, in this property called La Serra de la Contessa, and this name is written in Latin language in an ancient document, and the date is 17, 1734. Wow. Well, a little bit older. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the vineyards is very old. It's prephyloxera. It's root free. Yeah. So everything is uh, according to the, you know, to the nature. The production is very limited. Absolutely. Absolutely. Less than one kilo per, per, mine. per, per, per mine, you know. But the quality. The quality, the quality. Oh, I, I, I don't want to talk about the quality, but I want to talk about the excellence. Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody, everybody speaks about the oh, I guy put this quality wine. No, you have to produce excellent wines, because uh, the, the the excellence is according to your needs. And uh, uh, I say, keep your heart, keep your heart in your hands, put your heart in front of you, and follow your needs. You know, and my needs is to be. Come on, the benchmark of it, and maybe in one day, I don't know. <laughs> but the 2002, for example, we had today, yeah. it was beautiful, yeah, amazing, yeah. complex, yes, yes, balanced. Yes. Absolutely, it's 2002 is just 10 years old. Yeah, it's nothing. It's almost nothing. We can continue to grow the, the wines, uh, okay, and, uh, and uh, to <coughs> to discover additional quality according to the different to, to, to more and more years. And so why is Etna so special? Obviously the volcano, the lava depends on the terroir. The terroir is lava. It's lava and according to the different eruptions um, uh, you have to consider also that uh, the Etna is just a volcano so we don't have any valley. So no protection. Different eruptions, different terroir I call the Etna the archipelago, archipelago in the island. The Sicily is like I say, the island, and you have to consider the different altitude, different exposure, different time according to, you know, uh, according to the harvest. You start in the third week of uh, of September um, every year, and you finish in the northern part on the on the fourth week of October okay. in 1992. We harvested the Pietra Marina grapes under the snow. Wow. On November 10. <laughs> Incredible place.